Welcome back to the video blog. Adam Daniel Mazze is my name, PMD for hire.com, your PMD, producer of marketing and distribution. Let's find your audience together. So we're going to do a little book review today. Almodovar on Almodovar, edited by Frederick Strauss. Frederick Strauss, this is an independent film series. It's basically an interview series. There are several books, I think 15 or 20 in the, in the roster, and I've read about eight of them. For example, Kieślowski on Kieślowski, Cassavetes on Cassavetes, Scorsese on Scorsese, Altman on Altman, Cronenberg on Cronenberg. This one is the Spanish director, Pedro Almodovar on Pedro Almodovar. And basically, Strauss just goes through Almodovar's filmography and asks him a variety of questions about things that he saw, techniques, shooting techniques, acting styles, directing styles, themes and moods, all kinds of other stuff. And there were three interesting bits that I noticed over the course of the mornings on the bike when I'm reading this book that I thought that independent filmmakers would really like to put into play for their own films as they go about the arduous process of finding their audience, of basically branding themselves and trying to generate revenues for their films. What Almodovar does is he actually designs these really interesting poster marquees. So they're basically marketing, advertising for his future projects in his current projects so that he doesn't have to reinvent the wheel later and try to like really spend a lot of money to try to hype up his future projects. He ends up taking a tight shot of the marquee in the whatever project that he's working on and that way he's able to kind of piggyback one upon the next to get some traction for his future projects in the project that he's working on. He's already getting the audience share for the current film so why not just focus the camera on something on the wall? Get your set designer and your production designer to actually put that into play. I think that's something you might want to think about. Especially if filmmaking is a career thing that you're going to be doing, you're going to end up wanting to keep a long-term perspective in terms of your production design. Another thing that I thought was really interesting was how Amadovar takes actors in Spain, people that are known for certain things in Spain, and he ends up getting them to do different stuff. They go against type. They do genre stuff that they would never do. For example, he gets rock stars and pop stars in Spain to act in his movies, and they end up playing like these crazy, real introspective, pensive roles, whether it's a horror genre or something else that he puts into play, and that really jars an audience and gets them really paying attention to the portrayal of the particular character who in Spain they know from the media as being some somebody wild or somebody that does a specific thing but Almodovar switches it he does a 180 degree flip and he gets people looking at these various talents in a different way think about getting or think about casting people in your movies that are known for specific things in Hollywood actors that are a bit older that you can get to come in for day rates or for nothing or for a song or people that are accustomed to watching actors that do specific things get them in your movie acting in a totally different way and I think that's something that will really get audiences flocking to your film and will get media talking about it in a really innovative way they'll go wow whoever, X, fill in the character, they're doing this. I mean, people will come to the movie. That's a real good way to brand your film. Another thing, the third thing, and the last thing that I'm talking about, a little tip you might want to come, uh, you might want to design for your particular pictures is, think about something that you can brand about your film that audiences are going to want to come and watch no matter what film you do. For example, what Almodovar does is he actually designs these kitschy television commercials. They feature in every one of his films. And audience members love this stuff. In fact, they come to the movie sometimes only to see what he's going to come out with next. It's akin to the Hitchcockian MacGuffin, or let's say the cameo that Alfred Hitchcock used to do in every one of his movies. Think about doing that in your movies. Think about stuff that you do well, and embed it and impregnate every one of your narratives with these particular kinds of techniques. I don't know what it could be. You're going to have to think about something that you're good at or something that you can shoot cheaply with your crew and team, but make sure it's in every single one of your movies and do it without fail. That's a really good way to build your audience, especially if you think about making one film a year, or one film every one and a half years, that's a really good technique. So that's why I say that PMDs need to do a load of reading. I just talked about uh, that on an episode, I believe it was 91, about uh, three or four days ago. You might want to think about that. So there you have it. Read techniques you can use to brand yourself, the PMD and independent film. Thanks again for watching. Adam Daniel Mazet is my name. See you again soon.